I've been thinking about making this video for a while now. Last fall, I bought these new forks here and I attempted to put on a gyro on this Commensal Absolute and I totally failed at it. It just did not work, it did not work. Then I went about my life for a while and then it dawned on me, hey, let's try Odyssey NARPs. NARPs, you can make your own cable ends. You can cut the little ball off of the cable and then give it a custom length. Then you can make it fit this bike. So for $3, I was able to get my Odyssey gyro to fit onto the Commensal Absolute. I think that's a win. It's not perfect, but it's definitely a win. I'm not having to pay 200 for a title and all of that stuff. I'm sure the title is nice and probably fits even better, but $3, $200. What I'm going to do is just walk you guys through each step of the process that I used and show you each part of the gyro and how I got it to fit on this bike. All right, let's start at the top here. I'm using a mono lever here, Odyssey, and it's the trigger finger. I like the small, because I only use one finger on the brake. When I run a, a longer brake lever, I always end up having to put it way over here. So this is kind of nice, because I can put it here, and then it gives that extra length for these upper cables. So if I had run a longer lever and had to put it here, then the cables would be way up high before they dive down in there. The second part of this process is the upper plate. I have the regular Odyssey gyro top plate here. What I did is I drilled a new hole closer to the stem on both sides. And then I tapped it so that you could screw these into the plate itself. If you only have a drill and no way to tap, you can put this bolt on the bottom of the plate and then just screw this down and then put the bolt down here or run two bolts one up top and one on the bottom uh, however you want to do it but I went with the drill and tap so that's how I did that concerning the length here from here to here is about three centimeters 30 millimeters or so probably could reduce that a little bit but it's working for now so we'll leave it what I got here is the gyro and it's on upside down and it's the Odyssey gyro there. And then I have these cable NARPs right here. I clipped that ball off of this lower and created a NARP and I'll show you why in a second. Now to keep this, the only problem with the NARP is it, it doesn't fit in the hole. It just sort of sits on top with pressure. And so I put a little wire around the gyro to hold that cable in. And then to make it look nicer, I just put a hair tie there to cover up the wire. So it's a real, I think it's pretty clean. Looks nice. Better than a exposed wire. Now the problem that I was having, the reason why I had to put a NARP up there is because on this part right here, with the commensal absolute where these gyro tabs are drilled, if you don't cut this cable here, what happens is it pulls, it pulls the cable all the way to the end of this. And so there's no room to, to, to use the brake because it's pulled all the way tight, all the way tight inside this housing here, in the, spl in the splitter housing. So what I had to do was cut the ball off and then take these hoses off and cut the hoses a little bit so that it would give me a little extra cable here and then put it all back together. And I cut a little bit too much off of here. So if I ever have to replace this, um, about this, I cut about that much, too much right there. <laughs> Not, you have to be pretty precise, but I got kind of lucky it still works. So I'm gonna use it until it doesn't work anymore. That's my plan. I think there are some people who have been able to fit this cable splitter up inside the frame. Um, I'll try it sometime. 
Maybe if I take it apart or put on a new cable, we'll give that a try. But this is the this is just BMX uppers, BMX lowers, and I have it all the way down here to a Tektro micro road brake. And it works good. It works surprisingly well. I'm impressed. The worries that I had with these NARPs is would they clear each other? They do. So it clears just fine. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's the top view there. Real nice and clean. I put a little electro electric tape here just to keep the wires in. Another big concern that I had was with the braking power. So I've been using hydraulic brakes for the last 15 years of riding and you get really, you get used to brakes that stop immediately. These brakes, they don't stop immediately. They slow down, but you can skid and they stop good enough. I've been surprised at how well they work. I, I figured it would work really bad. It doesn't, it actually works pretty well. I'll show you a few tricks that I was worried about, like uh, a fufanu on a quarter pipe. I thought, oh no, I'll get up there and my wheel will just slide. And it doesn't do that, it doesn't turn. The brake does hold well enough to do back tire tricks. The other thing is with manuals that I have learned to appreciate about having a little bit less powerful brake is you can feather it better and keep that manual going. So I grab one of my buddy's brakes and if I feather the brake, I'm just slamming that front wheel down. I have found that a brake that doesn't work quite as well as a hydraulic is beneficial for manuals. Other than that, it's working well. I'm super satisfied and I'll do a little riding here. All right. Drop in here, little nanny bar, little tire tap, and it was kitchen table. Okay, nice. All right, another little nanny bar here. And then this is the trick I was talking about on the coping. So you can see how the brake works plenty good for that. And I was going really slow and it actually starting to roll down a little. There, that's better. The other thing when you're doing a manual, you can feather the brake a little bit and it's not gonna drop you to the ground. So that's real nice. All right, a little 180 half cab here. Eh. I'll walk my way back to the edge there and hop it. <laughs> Angle on this guy. See, this uh, Marzocchi foot jam as well, as you can tell. A little smoother one there. That, that trick just feels awesome. That's like doing it. What can I see? Well, I'm getting out of breath here. That's it for today. I have to go fix a uh, faucet in my bathroom and do adult things now. But uh, if you guys have any questions or comments on the uh, gyro on a commensal absolute, this is an Odyssey gyro. It's just upside down, a couple of modifications and it fits pretty well, works really well. I'm very impressed. If you guys have any questions or comments, just message me below the video here and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, if this is something you're considering, I'd say go for it. There's many ways to skin the cat and it doesn't always have to be a $200 gyro. So get out there, ride your bike, enjoy. Thanks for watching.